Imagine you want a solid foundation for your gaming or all-around PC that not only delivers performance but also comes with excellent value for the money. Today we're looking at exactly such a motherboard from Gigabyte, so stick around until the end to find out if this board is the right one for you. Let's start with the design. The board uses a clean but high quality layout with large aluminum heat sinks. These not only add stability, but also keep power delivery cool under heavy load. That's especially a plus if you're planning to run a higher end Ryzen chip. In terms of memory, you can use up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4 with speeds more than enough even for high end applications. Add to that a well built VRM design with digital control. Great conditions for stable overclocking. For expansion, you get the latest PCE 4.0 slot for your graphics card, which is important for modern GPUs. There are also two M.2 slots. One of them runs on PCIe 4.0. That means you're fully ready for fast NVMe SSDs. Of course, you also have traditional SATA ports, though there are only four. For most people, that's plenty, but if you want to run several hard drives, you might hit a limit here. On the rear I.O., you'll find HDMI 2.1 and DVI, which gives some flexibility if you're using integrated graphics. Networking is handled by Gigabit LAN, solid but not cutting edge. No 2.5G or faster here. For audio, Gigabyte uses a mid-range Realtek chip. It's perfectly fine for everyday use, but if you care about premium sound quality, an external sound card might be worth considering. What I personally like a lot are the extras. Smart Fan 5 for flexible fan control, RGB Fusion for lighting, and Q Flash Plus, which lets you update the BIOS without a CPU or GPU installed. That makes future upgrades a lot easier. All in all, this motherboard offers a very well-rounded package. It delivers everything you need for gaming and demanding applications without drifting into premium pricing. If you want a solid foundation for your PC, this could be the board for you. So be sure to check the links in the video description below. That's where you'll find the best deals. So what are the strengths and weaknesses of this motherboard? Pros, very good build quality with solid heat sinks. Strong price to performance ratio, PCIe 4.0 support and dual M2 slots. Handy extras like Q Flash Plus and Smart Fan 5. Cons, only gigabit LAN, no faster 2.5G network. Mid-range audio chip, not ideal for audiophiles. No USB-C or modern high-speed ports on the rear, I.O. At the end of the day, this board delivers a really well-balanced package for anyone who wants to build a powerful and reliable PC without overspending. There are some small trade-offs, but overall performance is spot on. If this convinced you, check out the offers linked below in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and drop a comment on whether this board would fit into your build.